Okay, for this uh, task, you're going to work with a partner and write a paragraph. And you're going to use the, first you're going to plan your paragraph. So you're going to write notes of what you're going to write about. And then as you write the sentences in your paragraph, you're going to make sure that you put in all the items from this checklist. Okay. And so we're going to work on an argumentative piece. And we're going to argue that school is a prison or that the classroom is a prison. Okay, so our topic sentence is going to be, and so we're just making notes here. So topic sentence will be uh, school prison. So you notice we don't write a whole sentence here. We're just, just taking notes. Make this a little bigger for you. And um, so first thing we'll do is we'll say, well, how, how is school a prison? We'll say, um, teacher uh, controls student activities. Um, and where we sit, things like that, location. Okay, what other arguments could you make? Um, no freedom. No fun activities. Oh, the same thing with the notes. No fun activities, video, etc. Okay. Um, <clears throat> no sugar, good food. Um, useless lessons. No useful, useful learning. Um, <clears throat> no friend stuck with same people. Okay, so you can't have that freedom to associate. Um, no freedom of expression. Okay, so let's say that <coughs> you have those. And then the last sentence, okay, which we call the clincher, will be um, for these re four reasons. School, prison. All right. So <clears throat> there we have. So if you look at this, say, well, okay, we're going to have about eight sentences, and in those eight sentences, we're going to use these various various things. Okay. And so I'm going to try and um, try and make a plan about what I'm going to do. And so maybe I'll try and do a number two to start. Okay, so uh, I'll start mine by saying number two. So I'll change it slightly. I'll say in schools, students are treated like prisoners. Okay, and then the next one is that my note was teacher controls the activities and location. And so I say, I'm going to try maybe a sentence number five. Because, so I put a five in front, because, Teachers 
are the wardens. Okay. So that's number five. You see, it doesn't stand by itself. If I just say, because teachers are, are the wardens, you're asking, well, what comes next? It's not a complete sentence. And notice in the number five that you put a comma after that beginning to your sentence. Because teachers are the wardens, they tell students uh, where to be and what to do. Okay, and at this point you might say, well, maybe I can put in a descriptive avenue. Are the so instead of just wardens, maybe I can put in because the are the um, all powerful wardens, and then because that's a descriptive adjective, I'm going to highlight that in blue. So I'll take my text and I'll highlight it in blue. Because teachers, they'll probably, they tell students where to be and what to do. Okay, and now I want to talk about how there's no fun activities video. Okay. So I'll use the number four sentence. So the number four sentence is the ING sentence. So hoping I have some fun. So who's hoping? The students. Students ask to play video games, but are denied. Okay, so we've got our number two, our number five, number four. And now let's see if we can have a number three, which starts with a sentence level adverb, such as uh, unfortunately, hopefully, consequently. So no sugar or good food. So we'll do our number three sentence, which could be, fortunately, students can even consume sugar to console them for the lack of fun. And I look at this and I say, well, consume is <clears throat> pretty good verb. So let's make that a red one. We'll say there's one of our good verbs that we picked, the red verb for consume. <clears throat> In schools, teachers are treated like prisoners. Our two, we have a five, a four, a three. And now let's see if we can do a six, which is a short sentence, five words or less. Useless lessons, no useful learning. So that would be our number six. So we could try that. Students learn nothing useful. Maybe we'll put an exclamation point there for that one. Okay, so now we've got all our things. We want to have our LY adverbs. Let's go back and see what we're missing. And we'll see if we can put in a dual verb, <coughs> uh, ly adverb. Okay. And if we go back, our next note was no friends stuck with same people. So students <clears throat> long for their friends, but must spend their days <clears throat> with the inmates of their class, inmates of their classroom. Let's see. Let's see if we can. So sometimes you can make a double verb. So they long and yearn. So we'll make a double verb there. And just to show that that what we have there, we'll underline that. Long and yearn for their friends. Bus must be. So there's our double verb. What our ly adverb. So we go ahead.
So we might have students ask expectantly, hopefully, uh, desperately. Let's try that, desperately. Okay, and what color do we want there? So that's our orange. Ask desperately to play video games that are denied. And I think we have most of our, our elements here. And now we just need our, let's see if we finish our sentence. No freedom of expression. Since long and years, they aren't allowed to express their frustration, but instead must tend to be happy. Happy. Okay, now we're ready for our clincher. For all these reasons, school is clearly like a prison. Okay, and we'll underline our clincher here. And, oh, we left out in a positive. So let's see if we can put in a positive in there. Okay, so teachers, well, good or positive for teachers, those um, those classic control freaks. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. And let's put um, put that in square brackets. All right? And let's just read through our paragraph. So in schools, schools are, students are treated like prisoners because teachers, those classic control freaks, are the all-powerful wardens. They tell students where to be and what to do. Hoping to have some fun, students ask desperately to play video games but are denied. Unfortunately, students can't even consume sugar to console them for the lack of fun. Students learn nothing useful, so there's our short sentence. Students long and yearn for their friends, but must spend their days with the inmates of their classroom. They aren't allowed to express their frustration, but instead must pretend to be happy. For all these reasons, school is clearly like a prison. So you see we had that topic sentence, in schools, treated like prisoners. We gave some reasons, <clears throat> and then we repeated that last to emphasize it.